think I have three videos and I think it's like midnight. I love this hat. What do you guys think? Hmm? Hi Shakespeare's, hi YouTube. Happy holidays. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. Today's video is going to be none other than my 2018 gift guide. Today's video is going to be none other than my 2018 holiday gift guide. So I'm sure you guys have been waiting for me to do this video and it is now here for you. There's so many awesome sales happening right now. So much to choose from and it can be a little bit overwhelming tackling your holiday gift list, right? Getting the perfect gift for everybody on your list. So I took the time to brainstorm, to come up with some great gift ideas for all of your loved ones, your friends, your coworkers, all those you hold dear. So in this in this gift guide, I'm gonna be sharing gifts for everyone from mom to dad, to your BFFs, to your hostess with the mostess, to your Generation Zs, so your teenagers. I've got everybody covered. If you want even more ideas, you can definitely check out the blog. The link will be down below. Basically, there's a, if you need ideas, we've got you. Now, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi and this is my channel. Our goal here at Supple Chic is to help you style your life better. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you are not new here, if you are part of the fam, welcome back. All right, so if you were here for my 2018 holiday gift guide and you're tired of me rambling, then keep on watching. So let's start with the boys, shall we? So if you're shopping for a guy who loves to go to the gym, who's really athletic, sporty, who has that kind of athleisure style to them, then I highly recommend a sweat set, okay? So a sweat set like this one, I picked up this Adidas top. It's a lightweight sort of jersey top. It has the Adidas logo going all through it. It's giving me, um, I don't know, I think it was Balenciaga that did the whole logo all over. Logo, logo mania is still in right now. And then you give it to him with a pair of Adidas sweatpants. And you have here yourself here a nice cute little sweat set that he can wear you know to the gym or you know just hanging out with his boys or whatever his style is you can do a little sweat set combination like this okay. all the items i mentioned in this video will be down below now if your guy is a techie or even if he's not a techie um another great idea would be to give him some airpods AirPods, they're a great idea and also not so great idea because they can be lost so easily. If you're on a budget I would, and he already has a pair of AirPods, I would recommend you getting him like some AirPod accessories. I know you can get like accessories that go with AirPods on Amazon, the ones that come with the little holder as well as the little string that you can use to put around your neck. They have some that you can attach to your watch. Just, um, just little accessories that help keep you from one losing your airpods and then two you know give you a place to keep your airpods of course again another extra set of airpods i honestly that's a gift for a man or a woman um would be welcomed by anyone so for the beauty lover in your life the first would be something like a beauty um kit okay la mer makes this really really great um mini beauty kit now if you don't know what the brand la mer la mer is like the epitome of luxury skincare they have these mini sets that have three in them for 99 dollars, and i think they have another mini set that has like five in them for like 300 dollars, right so if you have a beauty and lover in your life that you want to splurge on like your mom or your bff someone that you really care about and you got this, those coins then there's no better place okay to pick up a beauty gift than la mer um, another gift great gift for a beauty lover is obviously palettes 
palettes, palettes, palettes. I know the Huda Beauty Nudes palette is all the rage right now. I, right now, um, I did my eye today with this palette by the brand Carity. It's a new brand that I was recently um, introduced to. And what I like about the Carity brand is that they actually donate. They have a campaign called Palettes for Paws where they actually donate um, to the local animal shelter every time you buy a palette. Again, I'm wearing their Rosé All Day palette right now on my eyes. It's really pigmented, especially if you guys can see around like right here and right here. Okay, and the palettes are really affordable as well. They also have blushes. These, I'm showing these in the packaging because they will be in a giveaway. And I actually just got a new palette from them called Picante. Like really good palettes tend to be kind of expensive. So around like $60 a pop. So I know that if you give your friend or slash um, BFF who loves makeup a palette, they will definitely appreciate so it. So the next gift idea would be for your mom or your grandma. Um, the To me, the number one gift idea that pops in my head when I think about mom and grandmas is a pamper hamper. Um, this is a cute little hamper here that I made diy for you guys. You know, you can make a pamper hamper like this for your grandmother. I know there is a no mom or grandma on earth who will not appreciate a little bit of pampering. Women, as women, we work so hard. You know, nowadays being career women, being boss babes, and then flipping it around and being mothers and wives. So I know every mom and wife would appreciate a pamper hamper. Now on the flip side, you could also look at your mom or grandmother's um, interests. So if your mom or grandmother's really into like, um, uh, design and decor and architecture. Um, you could do like Architecture Digest. You can get them a year subscription for that. You can get them a year sus subscription of Home and Garden. So whatever kind of like magazine that kind of piques their interest, you could also do something like that for them as well. The next category is going to be gifts for your fashionista or your BFF Friends, okay, those girls that always are here to slay, slay mamas, slay queens. It would be a great gift idea. It would be a really nice pair of sunglasses. You can go from like affordable, like a Quay pair to high end, like a Celine pair. So Quays run around 50 to $60. You can get them a pair. I, I have a couple Quay pairs of sunglasses. So, and they're really on trend. They're well made. Um, and they're kind of like a name, like people know Quay, okay? Um, another great gift idea for your fashion Fashionista friend, honey, is some bundles, okay? Some bundles, because we know these Eurasian, Brazilian, virgin, embryonic hairs, okay, are very expensive out here. So buying your friend some bundles, a, a nice a lace front wig, okay? She will love you as well for that, okay? Now, if you're buying something for a home maker, okay, uh, switch it up. Instead of buying them cookware or something along those lines, how about you get them some technology, a Google Home. If they don't have an Alexa or a Google Home, that's a really great gift as well. Next sort of category of gift ideas would be for the girl boss. If you are a friend or your mom or your sister or your coworker, whoever is a girl boss, she's about her goals, she's about, you know, being on the 30 under 30 list, then some great gift ideas will include some really good motivational books, okay? Um, I went over to the Barnes and Nobles, my local Barnes and Nobles, and I picked up three books, but I will share two of them with you guys. Um, the first one, if you're friend slash BFF happens to be a um happens to have a brand or happens to be a, an influencer or being you know online content creator then this is the it book of the moment this is the insta style book by Tezza okay she apparently breaks down everything she does and what has helped her grow on Instagram right now when nobody is growing like nobody 
but she managed to grow okay um so this is the book i think this comes out to about under 20 dollars so this is a really inexpensive gift that would be super impactful for somebody in the whole content creator um space okay another great gift for someone for any millennial or any woman again who needs that little pick me up is going to be this book by girl called girl wash your face by rachel hollis i've seen this all over instagram it says stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who, you, who you're meant to be all right so if you're getting gifts for generation z for our teenagers you guys know i have an 11 year old right now he is officially a generation zer so if you happen to be in that space where you don't know what to get your generation zer i got you so First really great gift for a Generation Z is going to be merch. Figure out what they're into. What are they watching on YouTube? What are they listening to? That's the merch you want to get them. That includes makeup, eyewear, clothing, their favorite tees and hoodies. For example, if you're a mom and your daughter watches my videos, you can get her a Sheikster tee. It's a link down below. Okay, just a little plug, a little plug, okay? Um, their favorite, you know, they love watching Desi Perkins, some Koi sunglasses, okay? Um, there's 101 makeup collaborations. I don't keep up with these things. Merch is a great gift idea. So if it's a boy, if he loves, you know, playing Fortnite, or if he loves um, playing, playing Roblox, merch along those lines would be highly appreciated. Another great gift idea for the Generation Z years and for us, for the Generation, what are we, X? I don't even know anymore, the Millennials. Um, phone cases, phone cases, phone cases. Me particularly, I know the phone case I want. I want a Lumi, okay? A Lumi phone case with the low so that I can to take selfies even when it's dark outside. I don't know. So I personally love the holiday season. If you're following me on Instagram or if you watch my vlogs, you know that I just love the holidays. It just makes me happy and hopeful. Speaking of giving gifts around the holidays, so I kind of grew up partially in Nigeria and in Nigeria, you know, the holidays was all about, Christmas was all about getting that Christmas outfit, your Christmas dress. People didn't really have, you know, they didn't really have the budget to, you know, kind of like go all out in, in excess. But the number one thing that everybody, no matter where you fit on the social economic scale, the number one thing that everybody always made sure they had was their Christmas outfit so that you could wear to church and show everybody your Christmas outfit and for a lot of people that was probably the only time the entire year they would get new clothes so it was kind of like a big deal okay now our family was a little bit different because um although we did live in Nigeria we also were in this we used to come back and forth to the states so we're kind of familiar with the United States I mean we were kind of familiar with you know what Christmas was like you know, in America, um, we, we knew that people would get give gifts and get tons of gifts around Christmas time. So we all had those expectations. I know I did. Um, my mom was a single mom with four kids. And when I was growing up, and, like when you think of America in the 60s, the very heavily patriarchal um, sort of like society, that's what Nigeria was still like in the early 90s, kind of. So her being a single mom, raising four kids, you know, she had to really work hard to give us a certain standard of living, to give us, you know, to allow us to have all the things that we had. Um, and so around Christmas time, we'd be like, oh, ma, it's Christmas. Where's our Christmas gifts? And she'd be like, um, are you wearing clothes? Did you eat? <laughs> Did I take you on vacation? There you go, you got your Christmas gifts. Anyways, I think maybe that's why I'm like super extra around the holidays. Like I love giving gifts to the people that I love. Um, I love the whole Christmas spirit, you know, shopping for gifts, giving the gifts, um, wrapping the gifts, all of that makes me really super happy. I wanna give, you know, what I didn't have. Let me just say this though, I didn't want for anything growing up. But I do kind of like, I think that's why gifts mean so much to me now. Because I feel like, you know, we should all be getting gifts around Christmas, right? Guide for even more gift ideas, make sure to click the link below 
jump on over to the blog and check out all of our curated gift guides. We've got ideas, we've got links, etc, etc, etc. We have scoured the internet for you. Let me know in the comments down below who is the hardest person in your family to shop for. Let's continue our conversation with the community down below. If you liked this video or maybe you want to give Bay some gift ideas or your BFF some gift ideas, then make sure to share this video with friends and family. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.